All right, I figured I'd do a quick walk around here on the wings that I built for the plow on my Sears Suburban. I built them originally a few weeks ago, and they've been getting some pretty heavy use. We've gotten quite a bit of snow. But in using them, I came across a few things that I figured I needed to fine-tune, one of which was the hinging mechanism. The wings are adjustable. If you pull these pins, it'll allow the wings to pivot in and out. So you have three positions you have completely closed the way it is now. It looks like a box blade. Then you can pivot them out so they're set like that at about a 45. And then you can pivot them all the way like so. Now, the hinge that I had originally used on it, I found a curb hidden up, hidden behind some snow and it kind of tweaked the hinges a little bit so I decided those needed to be fixed up. And while I was at it I kind of re-engineered it a little bit so what I have now for the hinges I'm using some small pieces of steel tubing with a solid bar through it for a pin. Got a handle welded on the top so it's easier to pull, out, pull in and out. But the other benefit of doing it this way is that it enables me to fold them all the way around behind the plow. Now everything clears with them like that. You can still angle it and use it as if the wings weren't even there. The other thing with these, you pull a couple of pins and the adjuster bars will come off and then you can pull the whole thing like so. And this is all it leaves attached to the plow. I could take that off as well if I wanted. There's just two bolts that hold that on. And I also put some thicker rubber on the bottom edge for the, the squeegee side of it. I had originally been using some old pieces of uh, truck bed liner that I had and cut up. And they were getting the job done, but they weren't quite stiff enough. They, they would flex out of the way too easily. So this is some half inch thick rubber that I got from McMaster Car. I think it was only about six bucks for a six by 12 piece of it, which was perfect because I needed a three inch section for each side. So I just cut it in half, bolted it on, and it's ready to roll. So, Hopefully uh, this gives some of you some ideas on stuff you can do with your plows. Now we just got to wait for some more snow so I can test it out and see if everything's working according to plan. Thanks for watching.